Yo, what's happening, YouTube Jugga here? Welcome back to another video. DLC for special shout out to all you guys. I totally appreciate all the support. Can you guys do me a favor and smack that like button? Let's see if we can break over two. 100 likes i would totally appreciate that this weekend items is supposed to help you guys to rank up as fast as you can to level 60 while enjoying the grind with my new exclusive xp boost items in time for dlc4 the purpose of these items is supposed to help you to level up as fast as you can for anyone who wants to create new characters before the last dlc before we actually get into year two and those that are already hardcore players to help you to get from level 60 to level 65 in a matter of five to eight minutes with these new items i actually opened up the shop one day early to start taking pre-orders and you guys have been really supporting me and i totally appreciate you that we actually started sending out these items quickly to you guys and you guys have already been using it to level up your character now there are so many different ways to actually use these items to level up your characters in this video i will show you one way with my friend that you can actually do it but so many people are going out there forming grave ward or just using the storyline to get through it as fast as they can to get that xp as fast as they can so there's so many different ways you can use these items for your play style showcase time so these are the items for this weekend we have four different bundles the dlc for xp boost pack in form of the bronze pack the silver pack the gold pack and the diamond pack the dlc for xp boost pack the bronze bundle level one will take you to the silver bundle which is level 25 then you will equip level 25 silver bundle which will take you to level 45 which is the gold bundle you will then put on the gold bundle level 45 items which will take you to the diamond bundle to level 60 level 60 in the diamond bundle will take you to level 65 now i'm gonna show you guys the slaughter shaft away shout out to your boy prophet porter for actually helping me out with most of this video this is his game i joined his slaughter shaft game he is on mayhem mode 10 he's gonna get all the kills for me as this is a brand new fresh character coming off the bus now i did not want you guys to just keep dying and just let your friend actually get all the kills and you just sit back and just collect all the xp so i gave you guys these beautiful bundle packs with these overpowered weapons because i want you guys to have fun while you rank up as fast as you can oh i forgot to mention that there is an extra item in the store this weekend as well and you guys will see that towards the end of the video okay so the shield only gives you an extra xp boost of eight percent but with the combination of the shield and the artifact you will actually get an xp boost of 300 percent so awesome now you guys will actually see how fast i rank up while my friend is actually getting kills and me as well getting kills as well so amazing this 300 percent xp boost will rank you up so quick from level one to level 25 in about 12 minutes you're gonna be ranking up so fast it's gonna be so unbelievable how crazy you guys about to see this check this out off of one kill boom level two unbelievable ah, that's hot so crazy now watch this second kill oh my god level three unbelievable oh my god, that's hot. <laughs> <laughs> all right just so you guys know this footage was actually taken yesterday and we do have on those mayhem modifiers with the hardest difficulty in the game now this weekend only you guys will actually see a modifiers drop for being easy so if any of my weapons from the past actually kills things quicker it's because of that low level mayhem 10 modifier which is set to easy just for this week so starting next week is going to go back to the hardest right. difficulty just, just so, so you guys know next up we have the silver bundle which is level 25 now once you hit level 25 you're gonna unequip the level one bronze bundle and equip the level 25 silver 
XP boost pack bundle on your character, which you guys will actually see me do right now. And the reason why I added different items, weapons right here, so you know, so that you can have a different experience while ranking up because I still wanted to make it fun and not give you guys the same weapon over and over again. I want you guys to always have new experiences, even though you guys are boosting XP to get to the highest rank in time for DLC 4 and level 65. Oh my god, I forgot to mention to you guys the only reason why that I was able to equip an artifact at level 1 was because of PS4 save wizard which most of you guys probably don't have that so I would recommend just going through the game and unlocking your relic slot and then use these items to rank up as fast as you can you could do the grave ward way you can go through the story mode way or you can actually just rank up and have your friend do the slaughter shaft way there's so many different ways to use these items to rank up. Next up we have the gold bundle which is once you hit level, level 45, 45 unequip that level 25 bundle and equip the gold bundle which is level 45 which i did add the pikachu mutant level 45 to give you guys more fun and replayability don't forget you can always use these items and switch it to another character so you can actually level up that other character as well so keep these items in your inventory because if you ever start a character from fresh or decide you want to play through the game again you can always use these items to help you level up really 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 quickly now check this out i know you guys are gonna love this because i'm about to show you guys something super special so i'm gonna equip the gold bundle right now but before i actually put on the relic and the shield i'm gonna unequip it because i'm gonna show you guys how much xp right now that i'm getting without the relic and the shield 14,000 XP right there. My friend got a kill that multiplies it to 16,000 XP. Again, we are playing on the highest difficulty right now, Mayhem Mode 10, with those hard modifiers. So it's a little bit harder for me to stay alive. Plus, I don't have my shield or relic on. But once I equip both those items, the level 45 items, the shield, and the relic, watch how much more XP that I get. I'm talking about 300. 100% more XP. Boom, shield is on. Let's throw on that level 45 relic. Now, let's see how much XP that I get. Remember, XP is being shared between me and my teammates. So, boom, 40,000 XP. He's getting kills. Every time you kill those higher enemy names, 27,000 XP right there, you will actually get a multiplier that increases your XP, which is super sweet. Now, check this out. Killing that enemy right there, 42,000 XP that we are getting with this bundle pack. So amazing. Ah. That's hot. But it actually does get better in the diamond bundle pack. Remember, this diamond bundle pack is supposed to take you from level 60 to level 65. I did add a brand new weapon that I have not released yet until now, which is the diamond row sense level 60. And we're going to talk about that separately. But first, let's talk about this diamond pack. So I'm going to unequip the level 45 items and I'm going to actually throw on the level 60 diamond pack items now at this point in time the dlc has not been released so you cannot get the 65 but you can actually still rank up your guardian rank and when that dlc does drop on september 10th you will actually be able to go to level 65 in less than eight minutes with this diamond bundle so amazing now i did promise you guys that it will get better now check this out having that level 60 xp relic and level 60 shield check out how much more xp i'm about to get to get more xp towards my guardian rank and level up this is going to be so incredible watch this 128 thousand oh xp <laughs> <laughs> super hot super incredible this xp boost pack will help you out so much and it's so super fun just to play you can do it solo or with your friends and just go in there and have total amounts of fun and rank up now i did promise you guys i will show you guys the roses seventh sense level six now this is a brand new item that i'm adding to my shop this weekend and this is the diamond version because look at the diamond on top of it oh my god so amazing and this is roses special item which is her pistol because the camo that you guys actually see on this weapon is actually in the hidden files and i pulled it out of the game and threw it onto the seven cents adding it making it the row seven cents with that diamond this is a diamond row seven cents level 60 which is also all elemental so sick ah. 
That's now hot. check this out. I did tell you guys previously that I was playing on Mayhem Mode 10 with all the hardest difficulties. Right now, check this out. This weekend, only in uh, Borderlands 3, they have the Mayhem Made Mile. So every single modifier on Mayhem Mode 10 is actually easy. This will not affect you getting that XP boost. It just means that you will be getting a lot of kills really more quickly to get that XP boost and XP gain. So right now, the 7th Sense looks super overpowered because of that mayhem mild event so once next week passes you guys will actually feel a little bit more balanced with this weapon again balance with a slight op is what i always aim for look at that breen on the floor going psycho oh my god i'm so excited for dlc4 i cannot wait i'm actually hoping that dlc4 ends with a cliffhanger into year two of borderlands 3 that will be so amazing one thing i do like about the diamond roll seven cents is when you actually aim down sight you actually see that diamond in your radical it looks just looks so super amazing next up we have the black widow spider this is also an extra item this weekend in the store this is the black widow opq system level 60 now there's a reason why that is just super amazing and that is called the black widow number one the design on it is so squirrely like a web of spider when it actually shoot it opens up like the fangs on a spider this weapon is super amazing i took my time and actually worked on this design to get every detail perfect so when you guys actually use this weapon it feels different it feels new it just feels extraordinary now i did go ahead and amp up the abilities on this weapon just so you guys know this is an all elemental weapon as well on ase now check this out I'm going to shoot the OPQ system, 100% accuracy. Now, I'm actually using the OPQ version of this gun by holding down on the D-pad and shooting it. And boom, out pops two OPQ systems. And with the one that I have in my hand, that's three OPQ systems going crazy. Now, I did want you guys to get as many XP, a lot of XP, as fast as you can. So that's why the reload on this is super fast because I do not want you guys wasting any time in this game. I want you guys to kill, 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 kill. I have so much fun here in Borderlands 3. Just as a disclaimer, if I just went a little crazy over this OPQ system and screamed in your ear, I'm sorry about that. But man, this weapon is just so good. Look at the weapon just open up on the sides. Aiming down sights. This weapon is just super fun you guys will you guys will adore this weapon for sure giveaway time so this weekend items check it out so we have the dlc4 booster pack the bronze bundle the silver bundle the gold bundle and the diamond bundle and we also have the extra item the black widow opq system so you guys know i'm giving away three items of any of these items you guys see right here you guys can mix and match as you please so in the comment section the first six people three on xbox and three on playstation let me know which three items you would like and let me know don't forget your gamer tag and psn and also the items that you would like again you can mix and match as you please and also check this out i'm actually bringing back the batman x borderlands 3 crossover from last weekend so if you missed your chance or didn't win any of these from last week i already sent them out to the winners for last week this week but if you still want to get these for free i'm also giving this away to the first six people in the comment section that would like these bundles from the most catwoman the amaro harley quinn the flag joker or the zane riddler so let me know which bundle you would like first three people on psn first three people on xbox let me know which build you would like please do not forget your psn id or gamer tag so that's six people that i'm actually doing the booster pack for and six people that i'm doing for the batman villains x borderlands 3 4 so this week is a total giveaway of 12 people that will get free items from me just for subscribing and turning notifications on now if you actually miss your chance you can always purchase these items in my item shop first link in the description evilxjugshop.com and please do not forget your psn id or gamer tag at checkout it helps me to get to you quicker items will be delivered this weekend 100 guaranteed sunday night everyone orders will be fulfilled so please be patient i will get to you as fast as i can so until next time remember treat yourself don't cheat yourself i'm jug love you guys to the fullest and i'll see you here for another one peace
with Monopoly, calling out properties, securing the flags with extended mags, taking name to your brain like Scorpion's chain, taking your money, ain't leaving no change, even evil can evil couldn't stop this yeah. man, yeah, is evil next juggernaut, the son of Sam, damn, yeah man.